Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech, and I had some ladies in my classroom make an awesome dinosaur. Friends, I'm going to take that and turn it into a Code Blocks lesson. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So here is the cute little dinosaur we're going to build in Code Blocks. Huge shout out to Anna, Claire, and Kelsey for taking time to create this. They are eighth graders that I had, and they use their skills they'd learned in Mod Tech to create this little fella, and we were able to 3D print them. So the first step, friends, is to click Tankercad and switch to Code Blocks. When you launch Code Blocks, we are going to create a new Code Block, which means we have to hit New Design when that window pops up. We're going to name it Dino, and we're going to put our initials at the very top of it. In Code Blocks, we click Modify, and we create objects. The first object I'd like to create is the body. So hit Rename Variable and type Body. Our body is going to be created with the box shape. When you bring it out, open its parameters, and I want you to type the following numbers. 40, 25, keep the 20, make the edge 7, and make the edge steps 5. Trust me on this one, we are going to raise it up, and I'm going to tell you that we're going to use the move and the number that we want to put in is 20. The next object we're going to create with a create new object is a leg. Rename that variable, type leg, hit OK, and we are going to build our leg with a cylinder shape. Open its parameters, and I need you to change it to 3, 12, 64. I want the edge to be 1. And I want its edge steps to be 5 as well. Let's quickly zip into the modify and grab the move. And I'm going to tell you that because it is 12 high, we need to raise it up 6. When you hit play, you will see that we have a body and a leg. And they're oriented pretty well for our cute little dinosaur. I want to give our dinosaur toes with the half sphere shape. So bring out your half sphere and notice you cannot change its parameters. We're going to do that instead with a move. And I'm going to tell you I want negative 3, 0 for the Y, and 1 for the Z. And then we need to bring out the scale. And I need you to do 0 0.3, 0 0.1, and 0 0.2 for those scales. Make sure you do those decimals. When we hit play now, you will see we have a nifty little toe sticking out in front. I want more than one of those, so we are going to duplicate. I'm going to add a cool rotate so it twists, but I got to rotate it on Z, and I'm going to rotate it 15 degrees. And then I want to change the Y on this one to negative 2. I'm going to speed up the moves, and when we hit play, You'll see that now we've got two little toes and one sticks out to the side. We're going to duplicate that entire part. And instead of going to negative two, we're going to go to positive two. And instead of rotating 30, we're going to do negative 15. I'm going to switch that to 15 since I missed the first time. I'm also going to take my math and I'm going to put the zero, zero and the zero zero out here. So now we've got three awesome toes on our sweet leg. I'm gonna organize my screen by collapsing the blocks. I'm gonna put these side by side and it's time to make our next object. This object is gonna be a neck. On the shapes we need to find the torus. Open its parameters, and I need you to type 15, 64, 3, and I want 24 for the steps. Real quickly, I'll hit play so that you can see what that looks like. We need to cut it up. We need to cut this so it looks like a neck, and we're going to do that with a box. Make that box a hole, stretch it out, and then I need you to change the numbers to say 40, and I want 30, and I want 10. 
I need you to add a move underneath that. And we need to make the move on Y 15. Duplicate that hole. I'm going to remind you again to make it a hole. And this time we want X to be 15. And we want Y to be negative 5. We need to use create group to cut that out. And then we need to quickly rotate it. We are going to rotate around X and 90 degrees. Bring out the math for the 0, 0. And then we're going to use move to put it up where it belongs. I need you to type negative 10. And I want you to give it a Z of 40. And friends, when we hit play, boom, you've got a nifty dinosaur neck. We need to create a new object, and it's going to be the tail. When we create the tail, we are going to do it with one of our other objects. Go to data and find your neck and drop it in. We need to move the neck to the back of our dino. And I want you to use the numbers 42 and negative 23. I'll show you how it looks real quick when we hit play. You can see that is at the back of the dino. And then under shapes, we are going to use a paraboloid for the end of the tail. Open its parameters, and I need you to do 2, keep the 20, but make the sides 64. Under modify, we're going to use a scale to make it fit the way we want. The numbers I have found that are best are 0 0.7, 0 0.6, and keep 1 for Z. We need to rotate it so that it's aimed the right way. Make sure you switch to axis Y. It will be 90 degrees, and let's bring out that 0, 0 for the pivot. Lastly, we need to move it into the correct location, and I'm going to tell you these numbers, 37 and 2.9, work the best. When you hit play, you'll notice that your tail is now on the end. You should also notice there's a piece that hangs underneath. We're going to slice that in the very final step. I'm going to organize my blocks again by collapsing them. And I can put the tail up here. I just have to make sure it is below the neck because remember, the tail uses the neck. If you put this above, you'll get an error. So make sure it's below. We're going to create a new object, and this object is going to be the head. So rename it and type head and tell it OK. Our head is going to be made of a sphere. Open its parameters, and we need a radius of 5. And I also want to set the steps to 36. Under modify, we're going to scale it to look a bit more like a head. I need your numbers to be 1.5 on X. We're going to keep a 1 for Y, and I want 0.9 for Z. Let's use this same part to make the eyes by doing duplicate. I'm going to make them a different color just so it looks kind of cool. I need you to make the radius 1.2. We'll keep the 36. I'm going to throw out that scale, and let's bring out a move. And we need to move negative 5. And I want to put 2, and I want to put 3, so that it moves over and up. Let's hit play and take a look at that. You can see that's a decent eye. Now we are going to duplicate, and if one was at a Y of positive 2, the other one simply has to be at negative 2. When we hit play, bam, we've got two awesome eyes. Let's use that same duplicate trick. I want to cut this out though, so I'm going to make it a hole. I need the radius to be 3. And we need to bring out a scale so we can change the shape of it. Notice I put that in between. And I want 1, 1, and I want 0 0.4 for the Z. So it'll make it a little more skinny. And then we're going to do negative 5. 0, because we want it in the middle. And we want it negative 2 for the height, because we did not bring this up to 0. When you hit play, you will see the mouth is in a decent spot. And we can bring out Create Group to finish the head. Let's watch it go. And there you can see what he looks like with his toes poking out. But he's got a head, eyes, and a mouth. 
friends, I'm going to hit collapse blocks one more time. Once again, making sure that it goes like stairs so that they don't get out of order. And we are going to create our final object. Notice I put it below them because it's going to use the rest and it's going to be called dino. This is where we build our dinosaur. We are going to start with an add a copy of a block. And then we're going to go to the data and we're going to add the body. Return and grab another add a copy. And this time under data, we are going to add a leg. Now we want this leg to be in a certain spot, so we're going to find a move under modify. The first leg we're going to put in is going to be 12 over, and it's going to be 7 for the Y. Real quickly, I'm going to hit play and see how that showed up in the back. We're going to duplicate that leg and its move, and if we did one at positive 7, we need to do one at negative 7. We're going to duplicate all four legs. And our initial x was 12. So we're going to make both of these negative 12. Now these numbers all work because I did the math for you. Because I am done adding my four legs, I'm going to delete that first leg with the delete object leg command. Otherwise, this would still be in the way in a moment. When we hit play right now, you can see, boom, we've instantly got four feet. Let's return to the modify and let's add the neck. I'm going to scroll down so those fit in better. Data, neck. Since I am done with the neck, I'm going to delete the neck. And then I'm going to add a copy of the tail. And then I'm going to delete the tail. Finally, we are going to add a copy of the head. And then we'll delete the original head. And then we're going to adjust the head just a little bit. Find the rotate command, switch it to axis Y, and I want to rotate it by 15 degrees. And then from pivot, we're going to put in that math of 0, 0. The final step is a move. And when we move it, we're going to type negative 29 and Z of 42. Let's hit play and see where we're at. Friends, right there is a dinosaur. The last thing we need to do is trim off this little piece on the bottom. We're going to do that by bringing in a shape, the whole box, make sure it's a hole, and we need to type the numbers 90, and I'm going to tell you 30, and then we only want it to be 4 thick. This 4 is important because we are going to use a move. And right now when we move it, we're going to move half of that, which is negative 2, so that it's below 0. Bring out a create group and hit play. And friends, there is a dinosaur that is built and will have this bottom trimmed off after just a moment. There you go. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a 3D printable dinosaur. I made these measurements for you because I wanted a size that prints in less than an hour, which is super valuable in a classroom environment. I've also done little things like tilt the head, so it has a better chance of printing successfully on most everybody's printers. Remember, if you're in my classroom, for you to print these, you must hit export, and we need to have an STL. When you hit the STL option, it should ask you where you want to save it. We want to choose the STL folder. Make sure it has dyno and your initials so that I can figure out which one it is for printing. If you want to have your dinosaur available as a part, you should go back and make all the colors more awesome before you do that. I'm going to do that real quickly for mine by doing expand all blocks. And notice that's a crazy mess. 
and then I'm going to do clean up box. Notice this way it's all organized really slick and smooth and then I can make it look really awesome by just going back and changing the colors. So I'm going to change my body to a gray. I'm going to make the legs a gray. I'm going to keep the toes pink because I think they're kind of cool. I want the neck to be a darker gray. I'm going to make the tail that same darker gray. And then I'm going to make the head a dark gray. I'm going to keep the blue eyes, leave the mouth cut out like it was. Let's hit play and take a look at my new dinosaur with its cute little pink toenails and then all its other little parts organized with the different grays. That's how you can make it into one cool part that you can then bring into Tinkercad. I'm going to export him as a part. And then I want to name that little fella Dino. I don't have to add any more of a description and I don't want to lock his part size. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun building this little dino and I hope you enjoy it just as much if you get to print it. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.